come to the third installment. <laughs> let's <Very good. laughs> let's finish off with a bang. Um, so, what I wanted to know, I, I asked you how you you started on Beyond. How did you get involved in the project? Like how through through whom? <laughs> It's, you know, it's always a weird question that, because in one respect, it, it, you, you get involved with something because somebody asks you. So then, so then, uh, then you get, so then that, it's like going out on a date. Somebody will ask you out on a date. So it's just the same thing, really. And and I got asked, and um, then uh, read the script and watched it, and it just seemed like a really unique, an individual project. And, and also, most importantly, with David, it's seeing his passion for something. You, you want, if you're going to work on something for a long time, you need to work on something that you believe in and that you kind of you can connect to and, and have and have a lot of fun with. Also, because it is going to be a year at the bit of your life, so it's not just about doing it for the sake of it. It's got to be something interesting. So, uh, yeah. You, it's, it's obvious, obvious after meeting David and his passion for making this game that you want to be part of it. It's like the best team in the world. Infectious. Very infectious. All right. Uh, and then obviously you have a, a very musical background. So you mm -hmm. came, You, I suppose you uh, kind of grew up with it. So yeah, how, I, I kind of most definitely did. <laughs> so how did you get get started? Was there like a, any big break for you, or was it like a slow progression upwards into the industry? No, I, I think the big break is still yet to happen. I don't think. I think I, it, it takes a long, long time. No, it's just a natural. Um, I, I wouldn't say natural. It's just with music. It's just. It's it's not just about writing music. It's it's um, who you know and and how you get on with people and um, um, you know I, I started working at a very young age and doing a lot of commercials and I, you know it, it just leads into other things and I was just very fortunate meeting the right people. So so I, I can't ever pinpoint what happened. It was just very, I was very fortunate to. To, to be able to work, work for people and then work, work for other people and move on. And um, it's how it, it's unfortunately that's how it works. It's not based down to going to a great music college or or anything like that. It's like, it's like, it's like being a great director, they don't necessarily go to a film college to study how to make a film, they make these make films and that's how they get their style. So, work hard no, and work your way up. Ah. Work hard and work your way up. Absolutely. Well, you know, you know, if you don't work hard, then you've only got yourself to blame if you don't achieve your goal. <laughs> it's like anything in life. And, and, and also, doing music, I don't think it is a job. It's, it's, it's a good phrase. It's a hobby you get paid for. And, and you, 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 if you have a weekend off, you want to... You, you still write music, even if you're just writing it for yourself. So it's a, it's a, and it's very it's very the same as game people because composers can work twenty hours a day, and, and it's the same as code uh, designers and guys that I know that work in games. They they will be working for no sleep for two three days to try to get that game finished, and yeah, they have a lot in common with composers. It must be uh, wonderful to be able to translate a passion into an actual uh, career. I think that's... Oh, uh, that's... To be able to work on yeah. something like that. No, it's, it's very... It's, it's, it's an absolute privilege and it's very, very fortunate to be able to do it because um, uh, you... you, you it's it's not a normal job really. So and and there's no there's no with a lot of other jobs you 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 there's a plan you go to university you get these grades you and and but with music it's just, there's no plan and um, and if there was a plan then everybody would do it and then everybody would be very successful. So, so thankfully there is no clear plan to it. 
uh, then um, what instruments do you play? If any, obviously. Uh, you play some. I, play, I play the piano, not very well. Um, and um, drums? I play percussion. Yes, I studied drums and I studied percussion um, because I thought I thought it was easier than playing something that had notes, <laughs> um, which is which was not the case. But I thought that I thought. That was my reasoning to it. Um, so, um, but then with the piano, I, I did start, I, uh, but I'm dyslexic, so learning music was always very was very difficult. So learning an instrument, as soon as you get an obstacle, you end, you kind of tend to kind of give up. If you're not good at it, you stop, or if there's a problem. So, so I kind of gave up because I was being very bad and lazy because I couldn't <laughs> read the music in front of me. I just, uh, yeah. I had a similar problem. I understand. So, it, it, but it's a very common problem, mm. um, and that's and that's what and that's what happens. You 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 unfortunately, uh, I came across some great teachers that kind of came around came up with ideas of how to get around being able to not read the music. And that helped me, but unfortunately, it was, just, it was much later on in my life. And I think if I'd, if I'd had it at a younger age, I would have been uh, a better uh, pianist. But the, the greatest pianists don't necessarily make the greatest uh, composers. So it, it, I think a lot of people I know that are composers are not very good musicians. So it's, it's, um, it's, it's all right. <laughs> well, it works. Whatever works, it works well. So that's what counts. Uh, well, Yes, because the thing is that you're you're constantly trying to you're constantly trying to kind of invent new things. And if you're necessarily if you if you if you're, if you're a great pianist, you know, you know where everything lands. I'm playing, so I find not being a great pianist, I find that I'm still always discovering new ways to try to do things. They're not necessarily successful ways, but at least it's in my head it's a new approach. I noticed um, in Assassin's Creed 3, the soundtrack I was listening to it, I noticed um, there in the, like, the frontier section, there's quite a lot of a Celtic influence. Do you, do you sort of have that come through quite often, or is that... Uh, Apparently I do. <laughs> I, I wasn't aware of it until I said, in, instead of people started to telling me that it keeps creeping in all the time. But, but with Assassin's, there was a reasoning to it, because... It was the beginning of the Americas, and, and mm. we had all this hub of different cultures coming in, so the Celtic world had to be part of it. Um, so, so that that was very um, very important to be able to try to also instrument-wise to use the Ulea pipes and the Irish low whistles to have all of this as a, as a colour to what America was becoming. So the Scottishness, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it was a plan. plan. It, it wasn't, wasn't just it, it, my Inverness in roots kicking in. <laughs> but um, it's it brings a, a beautiful quality to the music anyway, and like you said, it's relevant, especially to that time period with the immigrants and all the different kind of people coming in. I think that is basically everything I wanted to ask you. <laughs> basically, it. Yes. In three installments, right. three, three installments over three days. <laughs> Great. Uh, we, we, got, we, got, we got there in the air, so yes. it, was, it, was, uh, it was all good, but it was, a, it was a lot of fun. And, and you've got, got they, they, everybody sent you everything, everything in regards to the albums of Beyond, Beyond and everything. You've got, got all that, haven't you? No. <laughs> Uh, what, what, you should email, 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 email us, us and, and we'll, we'll get, we'll get, get it all for you. That's great. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. And thank you very much for your time. I know you are incredibly busy. One more thing. One more thing. Yeah. What's next for you? Um. What's, what's next, next is what well, this, this week. Uh, well, this, this week I'm recording a game in London. Um, but, but I can't talk about it, and, and then, um, uh, <laughs> and then I'm working on two films, which I can't talk about, and, um, and, and also the 
way things, things work these days. days. You, you can't talk. You don't, don't want to talk about them, them in case you get fired. fired. So, <laughs> so until, 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 until it comes out, out my, my mum is the word. All right. But, um, uh, yeah, yeah, no, it, it's, it's, it's I, I'm, I'm, I'm in my, my I think in the mid, at the moment, I'm in, I'm in the middle of two games. I'm about to start another game, two, and three films. So that's me over the next, um, Period. Well, like I said, bearing that in mind, thank you for taking time to have a talk with uh, me. It, it, it's it's, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I wouldn't be working, working at this time anyway. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I look forward to um, when your next stuff does come out. I look forward to listening to it and hopefully doing an interview with, then, with you then too about those games. Absolutely. It was lovely talking to you. You too. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.